Greetings viewers, I'm Jen Quinlan and I'm going to show you how to enhance your senses through wearable technology in this week's Mobile Minute. Have you ever gotten turned around while trying to get to your destination, even with the smartphone in hand? Companies like Point Locus are creating a haptic GPS vest that points you in the right direction through subtle vibrations. And they're not alone. Wearable Experiments has created a more fashionable take on the same technology. They created the Navigate Jacket and corresponding app that gets wearers to their destination through haptic feedback and LED lights. For a more subtle alternative, look no further than the Lachal Bluetooth insoles. These shoe inserts connect to your smartphone to provide haptic feedback to help you navigate similar to the Point Locus Vest. However, in this case, you don't have to change your entire outfit. Google Glass has already increased the mobility of many paralyzed people, helping them do things like control their wheelchair, communicate more effectively, and even take a photograph through a simple voice command. An Ontario startup called Thalmic Labs is in the process of measuring even the tiniest of movements with their product, the Mayo Armband. This high-tech cuff measures your arm's muscle activity, turning it into a high-tech controller for products ranging from a drone to even prosthetic limbs. Thanks to wearables, even the fear of growing older is becoming less of an issue. From osteoporosis to vision impairment, many companies are coming up with innovations to help combat the problems associated with growing old. And why wouldn't they? By 2050, there'll be 2 billion people over the age of 60 and 400 million people over the age of 80. Meeting these segments' needs will generate both profits and positive karma for those companies willing to invest. And that's your Mobile Minute.